As we already know, AI is hands down the hottest industry this year, and Nvidia has captured most of the spotlight, with Nvidia stock seemingly climbing to new all-time highs every month. After dropping last month, Nvidia is on the rise again. But could Nvidia stock be about to hit a new all-time high this month? If you follow the stock, then you know just how much Nvidia is growing as a company, and their CEO believes that they have a game-changing product that will prove to be the most successful product in history. Could Nvidia still be a millionaire maker stock to buy now? In this video, I will try to explain what we can expect in the future, both in the short term and in the long term. Now we've got a lot to get through in this video, so I will try to keep this intro short. But if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 500 likes on this video. Help me hit that goal. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence and try to answer the question later in this video. But for now, let's get straight into it. First of all, it's worth noting that the global AI market is expected to reach 1.81 trillion by 2030. And this is considered to be the revolution of the digital age. Tech giants such as Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook, IBM and Microsoft are investing heavily in AI research and development. But the truth is that one company stands head and shoulders above everybody else in the AI market. And that company is NVIDIA Corporation, ticker symbol NVDA. NVIDIA Corporation ranks among the world's leading microchip manufacturers and is best known for its contributions in the fields of graphics and gaming. Its chips and related software power the fastest, highest resolution graphics and are featured in a line of products that include solutions for all end market users. Along with gaming, NVIDIA microchips are used in visualization, data center AI, and autonomous vehicles to name just a few. Now, although NVIDIA has become a household name over the past two years, thanks to its insane growth of over 1000% in less than two years, this is actually a mature company. NVIDIA was founded in 1993. The company was intended to focus on chips for the budding gaming and entertainment industry that was spawned by the rise of personal computer and the internet. At the time of its founding, there was less than 30 graphics focused independent operators. But in 1999, the company would invent the GPU and change the world of computing forever. The GPU would not only enhance the graphic capabilities of a PC, but would lead to accelerated computing and AI as well. NVIDIA also held its IPO in the same year. Today, NVIDIA's business has evolved from a core gaming oriented business to include graphics oriented computing and networking solutions in the United States, Taiwan, China. And although gaming is still a pillar of the business, it is the company's developments in AI that have fueled its success and seen it become the largest company in the world in 2024. Looking at the investors' presentation, we can see the huge revenue growth and demand increases for NVIDIA products, and overall just how much this has increased over the past year. Across every segment of the company, data centers, gaming, professional visualization, and automotive, but then the company has also made some huge announcement over the past quarter, which I don't want to go into in too much detail right now, but I will look at these in better detail a little later in the video. So if you have not done so yet, help the channel out and hit the like button. I will also be looking at the charts later in the video, so stick around for that. Three reasons I bought more Nvidia ahead of earnings. Now this is an incredibly interesting and detailed analysis, but it's also a very long one. The amount of detail put in here is insane and I highly recommend anyone looking forward to earnings to read this. But just look at how accurate this analyst has been. The stock has rallied upwards almost straight away after each publication. So the main points that he has pointed out here are Nvidia is likely to beat and raise the earnings report by 15 to 20 percent, unveil a 30 to 50 billion dollar buyback and potentially raise the dividend again. Market options are pricing in an 8% single day swing after earnings and 5 to 15% is likely given channel checks and, and 2024 fundamentals. Morgan Stanley and KeyBank expect over $225 billion in sales in 2025 and Nvidia has the potential to beat FCF estimates by 50% next year. 
Nvidia's current estimates justify a 16% rally by end of year, 35% by end of 2025, and potentially as much as 140% by the end of next year. So as I said, this is a very long article, so I will just look at the key points before I move on. But I will also take a glance at another article that is predicting an earnings washout, and this other analyst is rating Nvidia stock as, as a strong sell. Going back to the bullish article, reason number one, a big beat and raise likely during the August 28 earnings. Nvidia's track record for beating earnings is perfect over the past two quarters since the company is supply constrained. Taiwan Semiconductor says it's increasing wafer production by 150% in 2024 and 100% in 2025, but still thinks that Nvidia will remain supply constrained throughout the end of 2025. Then we have all these analysts that are confident that Nvidia will surpass the street consensus for revenue and earnings per share, such as Goldman Sachs, Jefferies, Wedbush Securities. Morningstar and Morgan Stanley estimate 15 to 17% sales beats and raises, and KeyBank is similarly bullish. Then there is the fact that the 2025 outlook is soaring. Morgan Stanley and KeyBank have similar estimates of at least $210 billion in Blackwell sales alone in 2025. But $265 billion is the maximum theoretical revenue that NVIDIA could achieve if TSM's ramp is successful and they can sell 100% of capacity at full price. Before the Blackwell delay announcement, Morgan Stanley and KeyBank estimated $210 billion in Blackwell sales, not including other chips, auxiliary hardware or NIMS. In terms of fair value profile, this again looks very bullish indeed. Right now, in August, $132. Year end 2024, the consensus is $148. By year end 2025, another 39% upside. Mid 25, 250 to $275, which is over 100% upside. And year end 2026, over $300, implying 140% upside. And the long term outlook keeps getting better too, with growth and EPS consensus keeps being raised. And here's a crazy little fact from this article. Since 2022, NVIDIA has been rated among the top five companies to work for, and its workers consider Jensen Hyung the fourth best CEO. Incredibly, according to a poll of NVIDIA employees, 76% of NVIDIA employees are now millionaires. Bottom line, NVIDIA is a reasonable buy going into earnings and one of the top return potentials for the rest of the year. NVIDIA's year-end fair value is $147, and if it beats and raises as expected in this year's final two earnings, that would likely rise to $175 to $195. NVIDIA has been tracking its fair value for 18 months, ever since the AI explosion, since its fundamentals soaring at record rates. NVIDIA has soared as much as 50% in one month, crashed 25% weekly, and soared 45% in the past few days but it keeps returning to its historical fair value 40x earnings each time as it has for the past decade. Do what you will with this information, but it's extremely interesting. And then skipping right to the end of this, and skipping right to the end of this article, from earnings, the author of this incredible article is expect 30 to $50 billion buyback, possibly a doubling of the dividend, a 12 to 20% beat and raise, and a 5 to 15% pop in price. As I said already, this article is written by Dividend Sensei, who has been correct so far with every article he has written on Nvidia. After all, there is reasons why they have over 112,000 followers on Seeking Alpha. Check out this article in the description below. I've only looked at a very, very small part of it. Nvidia CEO. Jensen Hyung from saying that Nvidia's Blackwell could be the most successful product in history. Now that is a huge claim, but for a CEO who has led a company to over 300,000% gains since its IPO, I think he knows what he's talking about. Analysts have called Nvidia's upcoming Blackwell system the most ambitious project in Silicon Valley, and Jensen Young highlighted that Blackwell is set to be adopted by every major cloud service provider service maker and leading AI companies, including Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, OpenAI, and Tesla. But I feel the most impressive aspect for NVIDIA is its tight grip on the data center GPU market. It had an estimated 98% market share in 2023. 
and even though this will shrink this year as viable competition comes online, demand will continue to outstrip supply. Now Nvidia earnings report is coming up in and I feel that although analysts have once again revised higher, their consensus estimate of up to $25.5 billion, they could still be underestimating Nvidia once again. As it says here, Nvidia stock could soar with the help of the Q2 results. Nvidia reported its results for fiscal year 2024 fourth quarter after the bell on February 21st and its stock soared 16.4% on the following day. They reported results for fiscal year 2025 first quarter after the bell on May 22nd. The stock closed 9.3% higher the following day. If you want to see me do a full Nvidia financial analysis and earnings prediction, then leave a comment below and let me know that you want to see this. My recent predictions for both SoFi Technologies and Palantir have been spot on where I have correctly called revenue, EPS and growth for both companies. If you want to see these predictions then check out these videos after you watch this one. Like this video and leave a comment if you would like to see an Nvidia earnings prediction video. Now looking at TradingView we can see that Nvidia stock is still very clearly in an upward trend. Stock has been moving in this channel for the past year and despite dipping last month, Nvidia stock is still moving within the perimeters of this trend. We can see that very clearly here. And we can also see a very healthy RSI with a very bullish pattern having been formed in recent weeks. And I'm expecting that Nvidia stock could easily keep moving upwards. Looking at market beat, we can see that the consensus price target for Nvidia stock is $131. This is made up of an absurdly low forecast of 62 and a high forecast of $200. And the most recent price targets have been set in the past few days, ranging from between $138 right up to $200. So let me know what you think about this. Are you bullish on Nvidia stock or do you think that Nvidia has gone as high as it can go? There's always a lot of talk on social media about Nvidia stock, but always do your own due diligence. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so always do that research. But if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. I hope you make a load of money on this stock. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.